Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for recommended practice number SNTTC1A. Personnel qualification and certification in non-destructive testing. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 8, Examinations. In the following slides, we highlight important information contained in Clause 8 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Clause 8, Examinations 8.1 Administration and Grading All qualification examination questions shall be approved by the NDT Level 3 responsible for the applicable method. An NDT Level 3 should be responsible for the administration and grading of examinations for NDT Level 1, 2, or other Level 3 personnel. The administration and grading of examinations may be delegated to a qualified representative of the NDT Level 3 and so recorded. All NDT Level 1, 2, and 3 written examinations should be closed book, except that necessary data, such as graphs, tables, specifications, procedures, codes, etc., may be provided with or in the examination. Examinations administered by the employer for qualification should result in a passing composite grade of at least 80%, with no individual written examination having a passing grade less than 70%. The practical examination should have a passing grade of at least 80%. When an examination is administered and graded for the employer by an outside agency, and the outside agency issues grades of pass or fail only on a certified report, then the employer may accept the pass grade as 80% for that particular examination. The employer who purchases outside services is responsible for ensuring that the examination services meet the requirements of the employer's written practice. In no case shall an examination be administered by oneself or by a subordinate. 8.2 Vision Examinations Near Vision Acuity the examination should ensure natural or corrected near-distance acuity in at least one eye such that the applicant is capable of reading a minimum of Jaeger number 2 or equivalent type and size letter at the distance designated on the chart, but not less than 12 inch centimeters, on a standard Jaeger test chart. The ability to perceive an ortho rater minimum of 8 or similar test pattern is also acceptable. This should be administered annually. Please note that Jaeger number 2 is equivalent to Snellen, 2027, Orthorator number 8, and Times Roman N 4.5. Color contrast differentiation. The examination should demonstrate the capability of distinguishing and differentiating contrast among colors or shades of gray used in the method as determined by the employer. This should be conducted upon initial certification and at five year intervals thereafter. Please note that. Vision examinations expire on the last day of the month of expiration. Eight point three general written for NDT levels one and two. The general examinations should address the basic principles of the applicable method. In preparing the examinations, the NDT level three should select or devise appropriate questions covering the applicable method 
to the degree required by the employer's written practice. The minimum number of questions that should be given is shown in Table 8.3.4. A valid ACCP Level 2 or ASNTNDT Level 2 certificate may be accepted as fulfilling the general examination criteria for each applicable method if the NDT Level 3 has determined that the ASNT examinations meet the requirements of the employer's written practice. Eight point four Specific written for NDT Levels 1 and 2. The specific examination should address the equipment, operating procedures, and NDT techniques that the individual may encounter during specific assignments to the degree required by the employer's written practice. The specific examination should also cover the specifications or codes and acceptance criteria used in the employer's NDT procedures. The minimum number of questions that should be given is shown in Table 8.3.4. Table 8.3.4. Minimum number of examination questions for general and specific examinations for NDT Levels 1 and 2. Please note that the employer's written practice can require more questions than the number of questions stated in SNTTC 1A, Table 8.3.4. Eight point five practical for NDT level one and two. At least one flawed specimen or component should be tested and the results of the NDT analyzed by the candidate. The description of the specimen, the NDT procedure, including checkpoints and the results of the examination should be documented. NDT Level 1 Practical Examination Proficiency should be demonstrated in performing the applicable NDT technique on one or more specimens or machine problems approved by the NDT Level 3, and in evaluating the results to the degree of responsibility as described in the employer's written practice. At least 10 different checkpoints requiring an understanding of test variables and the employer's procedural requirements should be included in this practical examination. The candidate should detect all discontinuities and conditions specified by the NDT Level 3. NDT Level 2 Practical Examination Proficiency should be demonstrated in selecting and performing the applicable NDT technique within the method and interpreting and evaluating the results on one or more specimens or machine problems approved by the NDT Level 3. At least 10 different checkpoints requiring an understanding of NDT variables and the employer's procedure requirements should be included in this practical examination. The candidate should detect all discontinuities and conditions specified by the NDT Level 3. A valid ACCP Level 2 certificate may be accepted as fulfilling the practical examination criteria for each applicable method. If the NDT Level 3 has determined that the ASNT examinations meet the requirements of the employer's written practice. Eight point seven NDT Level 3 examinations NDT basic examination need not be retaken to add another test method 
as long as the candidate holds a current level 3 certificate or certification. The minimum number of questions that should be given is as follows. 15 questions relating to understanding the SNTTC1A document. 20 questions relating to applicable materials, fabrication, and product technology. 20 questions that are similar to published NDT Level 2 questions for other appropriate NDT methods. Method examination, for each method. 30 questions relating to fundamentals and principles that are similar to published ASNT NDT Level 3 questions for each method, and 15 questions relating to application and establishment of techniques and procedures that are similar to the published ASNT NDT Level 3 questions for each method, and 20 questions relating to capability for interpreting codes, standards, and specifications relating to the method. Specific examination, for each method. 20 questions relating to specifications, equipment, techniques, and procedures applicable to the employer's products and methods employed and to the administration of the employer's written practice. A valid endorsement on an ASNT NDT Level 3 Certificate or ACCP Professional Level 3 Certificate fulfills the basic and method examinations criteria for each applicable NDT method. Eight point eight re examination. Those failing to attain the required grades should wait at least thirty days or receive suitable additional training as determined by the NDT level three before re examination. Please note that ASNT Central Certification Program ACCP Level 2 and 3 in according to ASNT ACCP CP1. ASNT NDT Level 2 Certification Program in according to CP ASNT 2. ASNT NDT Level 3 Certification Program in according to CP ASNT 1D. Review questions Question number 1. In accordance with SNTTC1A, Level 1 and 2 written specific examinations should include questions which cover Answer is D. Question number 2. SNTTC1A recommends that, when qualifying NDT Level 3 personnel, the employer Answer is B. Question number 3. ASNT Central Certification Program, ACCP, Level 3 in according to. Answer is A. Question number 4. If an employer feels that more questions are needed for a general examination in one of the methods for NDT Level 2. Which of the following meets the recommendation of SNTTC1A? Answer is C. Q. 
Question number 5. According to SNTTC1A, near vision acuity should be administered. Answer is B. Question number 6. SNTTC1A provides recommendation on contracting an outside agency to provide. Answer is A. Question number 7. In accordance with SNTTC1A, the written NDT Level 1 and NDT Level 2 examination should be administered without the examinee having access to reference material. Except for. Answer is D. Question number 8. In accordance with SNTTC1A, which of the following is recommended to check the near-distance visual acuity of NDT personnel? Answer is D. Question number 9. If certification program is to meet the minimum recommendations of SNTTC1A, do the following NDT Level 2 examination scores meet the minimum recommendations? General 72%, specific 78%, and practical 86%. Answer is D. Question number 10. If the employer used the outside agency to qualify his candidates to NDT level 1 and 2 and the outside agency issues grades of pass or fail on a certified report. As per SNTTC1A, employer may accept the pass grade as. Answer is D. Question number 11. In accordance with SNTTC1A, in no case shall NDT level 1, 2, and 3 examinations be administered by. Answer is C. Question number 12. According to SNTTC1A, the color contrast differentiation examination shall conducted. Answer is A. Question number 13. According to SNTTC1A, when carrying out practical examination at NDT level 1 or 2, the minimum number of samples to be tested is. Answer is A. Question number 14. According to SNTTC1A, when carrying out practical examination at NDT level 1, the candidate should detect. Answer is B. Question number 15. According to SNTTC1A, when appointing NDT level 3 by examination, the candidate has to undergo following examinations. Answer is B.
Question number 16. In certification of NDT Level 3 personnel according to the recommendations of SNTTC1A. The employer. Answer is C. Question number 17. According to SNTTC1A, NDT applicants failing to attain the minimum required passing grades on any of the NDT examinations included in the written practice should be required to. Answer is D. Question number 18. According to SNTTC1A, when appointing NDT level 1 and 2 by examination, the candidate has to undergo following examinations. Answer is C. Question number 19. According to SNTTC1A, at least different checkpoints are required in practical exam of level 1 or level 2. Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.